And the winners for weirdest things I've purchased lately? You got it. See what other tchotchkes I've picked up? Stick around. Hi, I'm Amy the Rainy Day Shopper. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. We have just hit 100 subscribers recently and there's a giveaway going on this week. So if you have not yet entered, you need to go back to the video before this one, not this video, though you can totally like this video and leave a comment down below as well. But I don't know if you can, I might need to take these off. Okay, hold on, there we go. Better. I'm only mostly blind without them. We'll see how this goes. Uh, but if you would like to be entered into that drawing for there's a selection of prizes you get to choose from, and I'm gonna choose two winners just because I like to give presents away. Uh, and you, their instructions are over on that video. So yeah, the top prize is gonna be a $56 value if you like that one best. Otherwise there are other things that you can choose from. There are girl things, there are guy things, there are human things. I mean, really, they're all just things. So if there's something that you want, you might want to go, make sure you follow the directions down below because some people who have entered have done all the stuff they should on my video, done all the stuff that they should on the Instagram, but forgot to like the video. And you gotta like the video to be entered. I mean, that's just fair. So, uh, today we are going to have a hard goods, decor, tchotchkes, things I'm not sure I should have purchased, but I did anyway, kind of, haul. Uh, this is a cumulative one. I have some, I have, I just gave up unboxing the boxes over there. I was like, nah, that's going to be way too long. I'm going to stop. So we're going to take a look at this stuff here-ish and see what we think. And you can let me know. There are a couple things I want to ask if I should return because I can still return them. Uh, so yeah, uh, speaking of interesting things, I got these at an estate sale recently, and these are Stutz Strumpf Hose. Oh my gosh, could you die? These are new in box, um, so new old stock, vintage old stock, German. Um, there's the tag from the where they were purchased originally, and I have no idea what the value would be. Be on these and I don't know if, the, if these are silk stockings that's kind of exciting um, they're not they're polymede and elasticine it says so right there look I can read in German even though it's not in German um, so they're not silk stockings but that's okay so I could not say no to this I don't know what I'm going to do with it but I'm going to sell it on the eBay I think now that I've started listing things on eBay I still really don't have any hard goods up but I'll get there someday all right, so that, and then this, why does this exist? Why? It's from Tony Marilyn, 1989. I don't know if you can see that, mostly because I took off my glasses, so I can't see what you can see. Awkward. Uh, but it's, it's carved, and it's a boot, and someone's, Toe is sticking out of the boot, and note that the toe is a lighter color stain than the boot itself. And it's a very nicely, I mean, this is a very nice boot. I'm assuming it's like a candle holder because there's this little ridge here. So you put a candle of some sort, though I always find that putting candles on wooden things, the whole fire aspect. Um, but I have a boot with a toe. There you go. Why? So interesting. People make such interesting things. Uh, this is one of the things, I don't know if I should keep or I should take back. I was just, I just opened up like three boxes of stuff that I've had for a few minutes. Mm, and I was like, oh, where did I get this? But this was so cute. Um, super cute, looks like a touristy piece. Not sure which country from, I'd have to do a little quick. I don't know if the Google Translate would read that, but it's just the cutest little thing and it doesn't have a mark on the bottom, unfortunately. Um, just carved and painted, but, uh, would you keep this? Take it back? I can still take it back because it was like three bucks. And I don't know if it's three bucks worth of cuteness. I mean, it's awfully cute, right? But, uh, well, yeah, so I don't know if there's really enough profit in that that I should have bought it. Ah, hard goods I'm just figuring out. Clothes I'm, I'm okay with, even though there's not a huge amount of high-end stuff in my closet because I find what I find. 
and I like what I find so I'm okay with that. Oh this speaking of is one of my finds. Actually this was so weird because in early like June I went to Goodwill and there was a skirt in this fabric and I'm not wearing it right now because I'm sitting on the floor and I don't you're not gonna see my butt so that's okay. So I went th and I bought the skirt because I just thought it was so pretty. I just love the fabric super you know 90s 80s kind of vibe. I do have shoulder pads on right now. Yes I do. Um, but then like a month later I went back because I was like I'm not going to Goodwill it's too pricey I'm spending too much money and I'm not sure about the return. So a month later I went back on the time I think that I had to go pick something up. Anyway, I did a video, maybe there, whatever. But I got this and it's so pretty, I think. Anyway, so this thrifted, I like it. It works. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or sell it, but it's a whole outfit. It's a really cool outfit, in my opinion. So, uh, what else do we have tchotchke wise? Oh, we have this. Look at that little thing. Isn't she pretty? She's just a little planter and I, she doesn't have any markings on the bottom. But she looks vintage. She's got wear. She's got dirt inside. Just a little uh, luster wear. I guess she's luster wear. Yeah. Um, no chip. No crypt. No chips or cracks that I noticed um, all the way around. And I just thought she was really cute. And people like swans. Not necessarily my aesthetic. Apparently you're supposed to have an aesthetic nowadays. I'm not sure I have an aesthetic other than quirky. Maybe I'm quirky aesthetic. Does that sell? I don't know. Mm, we'll see. Um, speaking of birds, so I got that one and then this thing, wait for it. Look at that. That is, that is a long necked bird. And that long necked bird, unless I do it, has not been broken yet. Um, there is a ton of crazing on the bottom and it actually says HM 1984 and then there's some giant cracks but those like if I run my fingers here it's not like cracks in the I don't know where yeah it's not the body and it's like the glaze has been overglazed almost there's some yeah so anyway there's some crazing and stuff at the bottom and it does go up I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Can you see her booty? Yeah, it does go up a little bit here. Um, which I don't know if you can see at all. I just, you know, I'm just showing you the, is this a goose? Is a swan? I don't know. That's a swan. I'm showing you the swan's booty. Um, yeah, so there are a couple there, but they're not, like when I run my finger over them, I don't feel the crack. So it's like it's in an underglaze. Like this has been glazed and then glazed over again. Um, oh, I didn't even notice there is a long one right at the neck. That's so interesting. Oh, I didn't notice that one. But it's not, it's not in the ceramic itself. It's like it's not the ceramic itself, or maybe it is, and the glaze is just holding it all together. Because, like, when I run my hand there, it's all smooth. So I don't know about that. Let me know what you think. I just thought it was kind of fab, and hopefully someone else will, despite the cracking. That's a fairly major, major craze, though. Ooh, that goes all the way up the neck. Is that a seam? That might be a seam. No, I don't know. Anyway, I must stop looking at that now, because otherwise it's going to take three hours of me sitting here, what's wrong? With, why didn't I notice that before? But again, it's not a chip in the glaze, and the piece itself seems to be intact, aside from these rather large cracks that I just noticed. Well, not just. I just noticed one in the neck. Let me put that over there so she can lay down and rest. Speaking of animals, is a little piggy. So this is fabulous. It's a piggy bank. Um, and I believe it is paper mache. And it does have its little stopper taped in, which I'm not super fond of. And it does have... Um, the signature FF right there. And then it, over here it says copyright FF. So I don't think it was handmade. It's like a stamp. I don't know if you can see that there. I don't know. But hello, the cuteness. It doesn't, the greens don't go with mine. But I mean, you know, we can't fault it that. It's not, It look at the eyes. I mean, just seriously. Was that a little paint on there? Oh, there was a little paint. Mm, I'm not going to pull it off right now because... I don't want to. Let's see. Do I, oh, other animals. Now this guy, I don't know if I should have purchased him. 
he was just kind of hanging out there on the shelf. He's wood. So I don't know if he was carved by someone or if he's just some like random tchotchke decor. He does have a place back here where it looks like someone glued a tail on him. So I don't know if he's supposed to have a tail or if whatever his behind's a little. <laughs> he just needs to go wipe his butt a little bit. Sorry. But I just thought he was kind of cute. People like bears. I don't know if they like this kind of bears. But yeah, look at, I don't know. He's got age. So I grabbed him. Let's see, other animals. Mm, yeah, over here. This one. Oh, let me hold on so I don't move this and break this. I'm gonna, there are things that are going to be broken. Um, okay, this is the other one you gotta tell me if I gotta keep or not because look at how gorgeous that is. Look at that beauty. I don't know, hopefully you can see. So I believe this was at some point carved out of a solid hunk of, what is this? It's gorgeous wood. Look at the grain on that wood. Can you see that? It is absolutely beautiful and has such a good feel. Now, at some point, this hoof looks like it's come loose because it's a little like wobbly. The rest of them are still coming out of the wood. Um, it's a solid honk here. I wish it had, doesn't have any name or anything on it, but I didn't notice until, so I checked the ears. I'm like, oh yeah, the ears look good. The nose look good. The tail is beautiful. It's got this cute little perky tail on a, a little butt. Um, but I didn't notice until I was in the car that it's horns. It was supposed to have horns. Cause I was thinking it was more like, you know, a, a yearling, not quite a, a, so yeah, I was supposed to have horns and I don't know. Should I take it back? Cause it was like six bucks. Well, it was three bucks because it was half off. Um, would you take it back? Would you keep it and try and sell it? I just think it's so beautiful. I hope you, I don't know if you can see the green. I hope you can see the green. Um, it's just gorgeous. I don't think you can because I think the reflection's too shy. Well, maybe you can. Um, so I just think it's a beautiful piece of carving and I really love the face. Look at that sweet face. So would you take it back or would you sell it? It's, it's a little hefty. I'm not gonna lie, this thing weighs a few. Um, not that many few, but let's see. What else have we got? Do we have any more animals? Let's, since I'm going in a theme kind of stuff. Oh, this is an animal. I guess we'll do these next. Um, I got that. <laughs> Cause look at it, it's got the frogs. Uh, this is hand painted by someone. The, it has the, um, just the little bumps around and stuff. And it's, I don't know, it's got some age to the wood. It is to be held up on the wall by a pop tab. But it's just so stinking cute. I couldn't, could you say no to those faces? So I got that. And that's, like, maybe that goes in the category of things I'm not sure I should have purchased, but I'll put it over there with the nylons. Uh, oh, let's do some more arty kind of things. This I just got in an estate sale and there's actually a box that's still buried. I'm not taking it out, but it's, um, looks like toothpick art. So it's toothpick. And then there's this, I don't know. There's no glass here. I don't know if that's, let's see. The signature says Sydney Lawrence, <coughs> but I think that's probably a postcard back there or something. Pardon me. I don't know. It's just, just the, I really liked the, the toothpick work and it's just got felt on the back, which someone may have added later. I'm not going to pull it off, but there is a little box that goes with it and they're all toothpick, uh, the toothpick inlay. So I don't know. I just got that. Let's see this. This is in the category of, I'm not sure why I picked this up except it's kind of cute. Just a little, general store, but it's supposed to have one of those, a dowel back here to sit on. So it'll rest on the shelf so I can grab another dowel and fix that. But why did I get this? It's a primitive. Ooh, dusty. I need to dust this sucker. It's primitive, a little country. It does have some age to the wood. So it's not like it was made yesterday, but it might've been made in the early nineties. I don't know, just a cute little general store. And for people who like country decor tchotchkes, I thought maybe it's uh, possible, maybe. All right, let's put that over there without breaking my toothpick thingy. Um, 
And, I don't know, some of these I don't know why I get. This was kind of fab, and this is a... Let's see. It's a lithograph, a serial lithograph in color on paper, signed in the plate. So, and it is from Park West Gallery in Michigan. Has a certificate of authenticity, and it's taped to the back. But then this is all taped together. I don't know if someone's taken this apart, or if, like, that's duct tape. So did the thing fall apart or something? I don't know. But I just thought she was kind of fab. So and there's a certificate. So Belle Let Leet. But I just thought she was a nice aesthetic for people who like these colors. And definitely I like the reds. Not so much the yellows. Not really my style. Um, but I definitely love the reds. And I think she's just pretty. So I grabbed her. I don't know about like these kind of things. I, mean, I may have lots of extra wall decor soon because it might not sell ever. We'll see. Of course, I have to list it before it sells, but I have actually sold two things on eBay. Ooh, I got to pack the boots. I've sold two things on eBay in the last, you know, two days, which is mm, weird. I'm not sure about that. Okay. This I think is a plant study. And I just noticed when I unpacked it that there is a super faint signature right over here. Um, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that at all, but it's right on this side. And then there's 181, 182, and it's numbered, um, it's either 14C or 140 in parentheses up here. But I just thought that was so sweet. And the frame is a nice gold frame. There is some, you know, chipping, some aging. Part of that is supposed to be there. And then on the back, it's just sealed in. Ooh, some dust. Remind me to dust all photos prior to uh, photographing them. Mm. Let's see, what else we got? This was, I just picked it up because I couldn't say no because it was this. He's got the, the little boy and the dog. This is a cross stitch. There is a little dirt up here and some dust around. Um, it BKD down here. But it was just kind of cute. But it's also not specific enough, I think to some extent. The frame is not a great frame. The front's actually not bad, but I don't know what's going on back here with this built-out section and then cardboard. There is no glass on the front, um, but it's just, I thought it was really charming, so I grabbed it. We'll see how that goes. Oh, dusty. Sorry. Oh, the dusty. Okay. Uh, let's see. We did those tchotchkes. Oh, okay. Weird things. Let's go back to weird things. I bought this. I believe it's supposed to be a little mouse. Uh, it has no signature or anything on the bottom. It's unpainted on the inside, but I just thought that was funky. It looks a little bit like it's South American, Central American, something of that sort. Um, could be a student project, but I just thought it was fun. So I purchased it and now I have it and now I need to photograph it so I can sell it. There we go. Uh, got this, just a little dove brown bag cookie art from 1993 Hill Design. Uh, I know that because it says it right on the back. I think these are still collectible, but I just thought this one was so pretty and would make a lovely Christmas decoration. Uh, if not, let me see, is that sturdy enough? Yeah, I just thought that would make a lovely Christmas decoration. Probably a little heavy for the tree, but on the wall, um, I just thought it was a really pretty, just a really pretty piece. So let's see. Oh, I probably should take this back. This is just a Harley Davidson pin. It's a new one, it's package. It's Harley Davidson from the big island of Ko Kona, Hawaii. Someone might want that. I forgot I had these, which I, glad I opened that box because I should list them because look at the cuteness. I might have to wear them and just keep them because I didn't list them in time. But look at those. They're ceramic. Um, I don't think they have. Hold on just one moment while I, ooh, yeah. Are they ceramic or resin? Mm, they might be resin. I just thought they were super cute. And so I purchased them. Now I'm going to put them back together so I don't lose the ear. All right, let's put those over there. I am literally surrounded by tchotchkes and mugs, but I'm going to get some mugs later. Okay. Uh, this Christmas time, 
I thought was so sweet. Look at this little fella. He's just holding the presents. He's hiding it. He's gonna go give it to someone. His face is a little creepy. I don't know what's going on with that. I just, mm, you know, but he's a bell. Helps if I don't hear. But he's a uh, House of Lloyd 1981 in Taiwan. And I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I don't know if you can see that right in there. Um, so I just thought he was fab, mostly because a cute little present and the little boy and his little, his little bow tie. He was cute. Let's see. Oh, these I got. These are a pair of Dansk, just very clean line, uh, salt and pepper. So, and I know Dansk is really good for the the teak salt and pepper shakers. I don't know about these, but I also just like, it's very restaurant wear kind of style. I don't know what you're gonna get out of the top of that one with one hole, uh, three on this one. You gotta shake a lot, apparently, to get your seasoning out. But they're in really good condition. Um, so, grab those. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm leaning. These, if you went on the, <laughs> my attempt at the thrift with me at the Goodwill, uh, there was a big tile that I was thinking about getting and it was mostly because I already had these two um, but these were like a dollar each and that big one they wanted ten dollars for and I didn't get these at Goodwill um, but I just think they're so beautiful and they're probably like a dime a dozen I don't know so these are RC Gorman and these are I think reprints of original art on tile so this was made in Colorado and is this one there's one that's kind of separating from its board um, so it's got all the information on the back, but I just think she's beautiful. Like she's just gorgeous. That's just so, it's just a lovely composition and a lovely piece. And then there was this other one there too. Um, and again, the same artist and she is full of sassafras. So this is, um, yeah, it doesn't have the date this was actually made. And this one's fairly like, there's a, you can take that out to lean it up against and there's a hole so you could have this one standing up or hanging. So no one's really like used this one, but it is separating slightly from its backing, I think. Or maybe it just, no, I think it's separating slightly. It's kind of curved. In the center, it's fine. But I just thought she was beautiful too. So I grabbed them. And these two I would be happy to keep if um, no one purchased them. And I'm sure that, like I said, there's a bunch of these out and about but they're just lovely. So I grabbed those. Let's see what else is on this side. We got that, we got that, we got that. I'm gonna do mugs in a minute and something else. Okay, let's come over here. This might have been supposed to have a top on it, um, but I love the color, absolutely love green. I think it would look so gorgeous with some daisies or some small sunflowers for that, but it is a coffee carafe and it is, let's see, Tupper Coffee Carafe 1994 Christian Ridge Pottery. Um, that's what it says. I think, I don't know if that's Tupper Coffee. I don't know. But it's in brilliant condition and it's so pretty. And I just think for a country kitchen, this would be so lovely, like I said, with flowers or use it as a pitcher, but maybe for the milk instead of for coffee because there is no lid. And I feel like it probably had a lid. I don't know. There's a ridge here, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it probably had a lid, but I don't got the lid, so there we go. Um, this also, okay, hold on, let's not drop everything. Uh, this, I guess I'll lift it up this way. Hold on just a second. Um, so this is just a little terrine or a bean pot. I'm not sure exactly. It's got cabbage. I feel like that's a cabbage on the top. Um, it's really cute, and this is. Cordella Collection Stoneware in Japan. Oh, and it's got this, there's actually, uh, there, were, there was a salt and pepper I found later. I could have gotten, I might need. Should I go back and get more pieces of this if it's there? I really like this terrine. It wasn't sitting by the other stuff, so I didn't realize it all went together. And I saw the other stuff like last week. So and I've had this for a while. But if there's more of this, should I go get it? I should do some research. But if you know anything, you should tell me because that would be friendly like. All right, I love this piece. This is gonna be hard to 
not keep. No, that's just a thing. All right. Um, gravy boat. And I don't, uh, that, that's picking up pretty well. It's gray and peach. So it's just got these great lines. And then it is from Studio Nova in Japan. Let me show you on this one. I think the sticker's a little better. So both pieces have the sticker. The sticker's a little more worn off on the um, actual gravy boat itself but it has its little plate under it. And I just thought they were so charming. Let's see, what else do we have here? All right, these are interesting to me. I love bells, I don't know why. Um, but this one is just a ceramic, like stoneware kind of, it's the Alaska Homestead. And it looks like this, and then it says, um, in here there's the made in Japan sticker on the inside and then it says copyright um, ACE ACE I have a pig made by ACE I wonder if that's the same thing I don't know um, ACE but then this one that looks basically the same except it's um, Nevada so it's Las Vegas Nevada hopefully you can see that and it's not too fuzzy because I can't tell so it has all the you probably can't see that at all hello is it focusing on me well, hopefully you can see. Um, so it has all the hotels from the strip. So it's got the Flamingo, Caesars Palace, Stardust, Bally's, um, El Rancho. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. Um, Sardis? No. Sands. Sands and Aladdin. I'm like, Sardis is in New York. What are we talking here? Desert Inn, Hilton, more Sands. But it doesn't have, it has a different copyright, but they look exactly the same. So I don't know if the copyright is the art itself. Um, and so a different artist did it. And then someone who was overlaying it. Um, they're basically exactly the same. Same little dingly danglies on the inside. I don't know about that, but I just thought they were kind of interesting. All right. I've got three more things in this one and I'm going to do the mugs a little. I'll do, we'll get to mugs. Uh, but not right to now. So this I got just because she was so adorable. Look at how cute she is. Now she's got a certificate down here and there's no English on her. And then she's got this on the front. Um, she's a little loose. So she's plastic. Ooh, she's dusty. And someone has, I think, already re-glued her feet back to this board here. Um, what is that? It's like it's like a, like a, just a tube. I don't know what that is, but I just thought she was really cute. She's got her little, um, pouch on her back and I just loved her face. It's so charming. So I got her, I don't know if there's any market for her or if it was a stupid purchase, but she will not break the bank and I couldn't let her just sit there and be neglected. All right. Oh, my foot is going to be mad at me. Oh, this one, same thing. So this one is a piece that was made by an artist here in Oregon. Um, and it's, I think supposed to be with the red hat ladies, those ladies. Yes. Cause it's got her, the fabric on the dress. Um, her head is a little loose and I don't know if that happened in the box. I wasn't, I didn't like how she was packed when I unpacked her. Um, and her hat could use just a little tack on, but she basically looks like gorgeous. And then I love this here aged to perfection so i just thought that was hilarious and she's got this little i don't know what this is for i don't know why that's there um but let me just show you let's see someone has oh just keep your head on lady <laughs> don't lose your head um so there's a card there for the artist and this doesn't look super old um uh, marilyn berg fiber art in oregon it was originally 55 dollars I guess I just gave you that person's address. I might have to blur that out. Um, but if you want to order, she might like, so I got to, I got to get this hat situation. Oh, there it goes. That's better. And then, but her head is just a little floppy. I think I can take a stitch and reestablish her neck or just disclose it. But I, she's just gorgeous. She's so pretty. And I couldn't just leave her sitting there being neglected. So I grabbed her. I'm not sure she was a great purchase. We'll find out. All right. Oh, okay. Yes. 
two two more main things so oh that main thing is in the way of this main thing it's, there are things that are breakable and okay I'm gonna put this down we'll do this first so I ended up getting a, a nativity set and I think I may be missing an angel because I feel like there would be an angel sitting up here but maybe not because I have everything else and so I'll show you them piece by piece the pieces are made in Taiwan they're vintage uh, not Japan vintage but Taiwan, so I mean, I guess that's all right. And I have to do some research. They don't have anything else as far as a name goes. But this is the little manger. I do have another manger downstairs that's musical that I found. I don't have pieces for it. I just picked it up because it was there. Um, so there's the sticker. Hopefully you can read that. Don't go put that there. No, maybe. I don't think any of these are focusing. So you're going to be like, put the glasses on so we can see because you can't see. I know this is terrible, but it's it, to, to the brightness. Um, so we've got one. And apparently all the white people lived in the Middle East for this manger. Who knew? Um, two. <laughs> and let's see. I don't want to break anyone. And I don't know if these are a painted set. These might be like, they're pretty well done though. Um, three wise men. I don't know if someone's painted these. Do those look like someone's done them like they're a project at home? I guess because they're made in Taiwan. I don't know. Anyway, someone's done those very well. If they are painted by a person. Uh, two, three. Then we have an assortment of... We've got the donkey woo, cute little donkers. We've got a sheep, and these all have their sticker on the bottom, if you can see it, because you probably can't. Um, let's see, let's put these over here. So a lot of unwrapping and wrapping involved in, in the this. And then a cow, a little moo cow. And again, made in Taiwan. And then we've got, of course, Mary was blonde in the Middle East. Because, you know, she's very pretty. And Joseph. Joseph does have a little bit of color lost right there in his hair, but I figure he's just balding slightly. I mean, it's kind of stressful not to have a home and to be kicked around and be treated like, you know, garbage when you're a human being. It's just, it's a little stressful. So I think he's probably go going there, you know, poor Joseph. If only he had some some nice government to help take care of him and, and make sure that people were treated kindly. I don't know. So he's got his little sheep. I don't know if he killed the sheep or the sheep is just napping. Uh, I don't know. But, and then we have, oh, maybe, I wonder if they put Jesus up on like the wall. So there's our little Jesus. He's having a little nap nap. Um, got his little halo, his little fat tummy. That's a little fat baby. <laughs> I don't know if he goes up on the wall on there anyway. So that was, I got that manger and I kind of feel like there should be an angel somewhere, but I don't have an angel. All right, let's see if I, I guess I'll get to this. So then I got this set. Um, this is from Pottery Craft USA. Can you see that? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Anyway, Pottery Craft USA. And these I just thought were so charming and they were there one week. And then I didn't grab them because they were full price and I want to go back on the half price day because it's crazy and I was like, nah, I don't want to go back. Um, but it was there the next week when I went back and I was like, this was here for a week. Can I get it for half off even though it's not half off day? And they said yes because I, I go there often. So it's there are three canisters and then the salt and pepper. Um, they're all in very good condition. You know, some spots I need to clean up. But what I love is that the canisters all have different butterflies on them. Um, let's see. Can I move you? Hold on. Let me just talk to the manger. Hmm. Hmm. This is a, this is a conundrum. Okay, hold on. Pardon me. Sorry. Um, there's this one. Uh, it's pretty. And they're all, the, oh, these are, the, this one's not marked. Was a little one marked? I don't know. No, the, the canisters weren't marked. That's what weirded me out. 
the salt and pepper were marked, but then the canisters weren't marked, which I don't know about that. Okay, what was a big canister marked? Oh wait, oh yeah, they're marked inside. And did this one have a date? No, 801 USA. So it didn't have a date, but it has a number on it. Okay, that's why. I was like, I knew they were marked somewhere. But isn't that pretty? Hopefully you can see that and it's focusing and it's not just looking like a big, bright blob. There we go, that's a little better. So I just thought that was super cute. And again, would be really great on a country kitchen counter because I live in the country and have a kitchen. Uh, I have no place for the counter. I mean, no. Um, so I'm definitely gonna sell it, probably, most likely. I'm sure I will sell it at some point. All right, I think, did I get all the tchotchkes I wanted to do? Yes, I think that's all the tchotchkes we're gonna do right now. That's enough tchotchkes for the moment. Let me know if you found anything you liked. And remember, oh yeah, remember, go enter the giveaway so you can be entered in the drawing to get your choice of prizes. Uh, I will include a $6 gift card with both uh, to Starbucks, just so you can have some coffee or some tea or something nummy and warm because it is cold out here. Maybe it's not in some places. I know some people in California are like, I'm going thrifting for sweaters, but it's 80 degrees out. Mmm, about that. So there we go. Oh, I did forget these. One more thing. I did get four of these. Um, this is a cute little cup and saucer. I was gonna, I guess. And this is Noritake Folkstone. It's Japan dishwasher safe. And I just thought those were super cute. And there are four of them, so I have a set of four. Anything else? I mean, there's a whole, there's three other boxes over here that haven't been unpacked, but they're going to stay packed for now because this is too long. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed some of the finds. Uh, let me know about those pieces, those, those, um, the little guy with the broken horns and the, the cute little, where'd it go? Oh yeah, this cute little thing. Should I keep it for three bucks or take it back? I still have the tag on it, so I could take it back. Um, but I don't know. Cute or no, it's just a little touristy piece, but it's just so charming. It's just charming but I don't know if I should keep it. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that everything is going well in your world. And yes, yeah, someday I will totally start listing the tchotchkes on eBay or Poshmark. <gasps> Ooh, there is one decor piece on Poshmark. It's not up here because that would be useful, but that's okay. It's listed. Yeah. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. I hope that you're getting a lot of stuff done and I will see you for five minute finds next, which I'm actually gonna film like right now because I don't wanna change clothes. So there, you'll see me wearing the same thing and I hope you don't mind. I'll see you later, bye.